this rise of far-right groups in Quebec, the extreme left groups have also somehow becoming more active and much more aggressive in the way they want to demonstrate their opposition to far-right but also to a wide range of issues. We hear more and more about violence by far-right groups, but what about far-left? I'm Tina Teneriello, outside the Centre for Prevention of Radicalization Leading to Violence, who are looking at the rise of far-left groups in Quebec, including one website. The website is called Montreal Counter Information and describes itself as an autonomous communication for the struggle against authority. It lists anti-racist and fascist protests, but it also shares videos on how to make Molotov cocktails. These websites, but also Facebook pages, can actually not only show how to take action, but also to encourage violence. It's a platform where people can share anonymous pictures and stories about their actions to fight for their cause, like one about torching two luxury cars to fight gentrification. There is a strong connection in in, in far-left uh, extremist action to the destruction of properties. Uh, most of the violence is not directed towards individuals. The center says it's hard to identify specific groups in the far-left spectrum. We are not talking about uh, community groups, for example, who are doing like demonstration, protestation, uh, who are doing mobilization against uh, gentrification, anti-capitalism, anti-fascist. We are talking about a small, small, small minority of these groups and these individuals. City News reached out to the website for an interview, but it did not get a response. It's very difficult to assess the impact and the importance of this website. Whatever the motives, whatever the, the reasons, the causes behind these groups, we have to make sure that uh, we all consider violence as something unacceptable. For City News in Montreal, I'm Tina Teneriello.